couple things that I see. Like I think customer service software, like to manage tickets and like customer questions and stuff. There's some pretty decent ones out there, but I still feel like they're solving the wrong problem. So that's an area we'd like to actually get into. Uh, so that's that's an area I think that's going to be growing. Um, one of the things that's really really hard to do is to hire people uh, to go through that process. So if you put it, we put a job up ad up. We say we're looking for a new designer. We'll literally get hundreds and hundreds of resumes. At that point, you're screwed. Like I don't, I don't know how to go through hundreds of resumes. I can't collaborate on these resumes with other people in my company. I can't have my designers look at these resumes and leave their feedback on them. So that's a kind of a really. There's a few tools out there that sort of help you through that process, but I think that's kind of a mess too. So that's another area I think that can be that can be better. Um, one of the things I'd love to reinvent, and I have some ideas around it, but I don't think we'll ever do it, is is the spreadsheet. So I see a lot of people doing spreadsheets today, but they're like online versions of the offline thing. This whole grid thing um, is totally overkill for very, very, very simple things. And so I have in my head this idea uh, of sort of reinventing the spreadsheet idea. But that's, I don't know, that's probably not something we're going to do because it's a little bit outside of the realm of what we do. Um, but I, I like the idea of improving customer service interactions with, with people, and I like the idea of making the hiring process simpler. Uh, and those sorts of things are, are areas that we'd like to focus on. This Well, we get feedback all the time, but this, these problems, the problems I just told you, are the ones that we have. And that's why we're probably going to, we need solutions anyway. And this is the thing. If you need a solution anyway and you can't find something and you're going to build it, might as well turn it into a product because other people need it too. So even we're, like the cool thing about building products for yourself is that it's sort of like it's free to do it because you're going to turn it into a product and sell it to other people. So, but even if no one uses it, like you needed it anyway, so it's totally worth doing. Um, and that's one of the great things. That's what's tr tricky about trying to guess what other people need is that if no one buys it, you're left with this code that you won't even use and you're just a total waste of time. But if no one uses our products for whatever reason, we still need them anyway. So uh, we're left with something that works, and that makes sense.